want to I want to hear a little bit more about you know people let's say they come they come they visit they love it what is the process to uh begin to to uh you know start start the steps of investing what do you ladies kind of recommend um do you recommend they spend like a week there a couple weeks do they go look at certain areas um give us your uh sort of uh take on it and i know Alyssa has been pretty quiet so i want to give you a chance to uh to chime in on this conversation as well hey. Hey. well first i think you should talk to one of us and then it'll make it way easier because i know her um you don't already take Turks and Caicos and so you'd be able to do that for them you know they wouldn't have to put in the work she would be helping you through the whole entire process we'd be helping you through the whole process so it's not something of fear I don't know where to go what to do that's why we're here to help right you need that's to hire, you need to hire a real estate agent that you are comfortable with to help you to seek your um your dream home or whatever it is that you're trying to invest in So we do have um my sorry I on my part for example um we I do have people that will come to Turks and Caicos like within 3 to 4 days and at within that 3 to 4 days um they come to the office or they find me to show them home they're interested in investing in the island how do they go about it so what I do um first sit down and talk talk to them at the office Let me know what is your budget. Let me know what you're looking for for me to for me to be able to assist you in that matter. And then, as we go through properties, visiting properties during their stay, um, they have to go back home and then probably come back after two months to actually um, sit down and think of something that try to see if they could put their money on something on a property. So that's like like I don't know for you guys if you. just me i mean sometime sometime you get a buyer on their first visit to the, to the wherever it is but sometimes it's like it takes like two visits that's good to know so just get familiarized with the whole um prop surrounding where they purchase and that's that's about it two visits And so often times in real estate investment you know we talk about the importance of um as as Jennifer spoke earlier about the numbers and not sort of getting emotionally attached to the property um uh, when we talk about the kinds of properties people should be thoughtful of in terms of a uh, good ideal size ideal features of an investment property that they're really looking to uh have a return on what are these properties looking at looking like uh, you know obviously you said the beach front um you also said that there are others outside of the beach front um but how many bedrooms how many bathrooms what are some of uh, those features so for the beach front properties you could get um their price range is about 4.995 and that's like uh roughly seven bedroom to six bathroom and it varies So that's and then it's it's more like modern style because right right now every um place everywhere is actually building modern home. So nice pool, infinity pool. Um you could get um a three bedroom two bath on, on the beach, not on the beach but on the lagoon or something like that for like 1.95 or 2 million and up. That's so big. That's great. And I and you're saying these are are brand new modern uh homes that people I'm have the right. And and how much can they influence the design? You know, when we're talking about builders, typically they have like a um a standard sort of a uh, blueprint. Uh, do uh, buyers have the opportunity to influence uh, any of the the design of it or is it pretty much um you know a uh, a uh, a layout that's already predetermined it's pretty much 
it's pretty much what you want to um, build your property is how you, how you want to design your property. So at the end of the day, the contractors or architects, all of them, they go about, about um, how you want your property to be laid out, the design, floor plan, all of that. So there's not no specific that they follow. Okay. So what I'm hearing is there's lots of, of, of potential there uh, and it's already started uh, and, and it's kind of already under underway. I, I want to know for our viewers, like, obviously, you know, we're at a, a, at a time frame where things are, are, are slow. So obviously people have a little time, but what are some of the benefits of starting to look right now? It's like getting on the plane, going to Turks and Caicos, starting those visits to kind of get a little bit more familiar with the, the, um, with the culture and the people and the overall location. Like what are the benefits to us being in this pandemic and slowly coming out as, as people begin thinking about uh, investing for the future? For one, you'd be one of the first ones to get a piece of the pie, so to say. So being early to the, to the party that's eventually going to come. Early bird catches the worm first, so... <laughs> but you know you always want to be the first one there because the houses go there's already houses being bought and you know you want a chance for um beach from top property that's right. a, a really excellent point because beachfront no matter where in the world you are tends to be pr some of that those prime real estate really properties that only go up in value you know, mm -hmm. right. and it's not even much beachfront properties here. You do have, but it's not much that are available beachfront properties. You have like all the vacant lots that are available, and not much beachfront properties that are available. So, if you're looking for beachfront properties, the earlier you can get to Chuck's and Caicos for for return investment, come right down. Definitely, definitely. You know, I, I just love this topic. I, I'm so fascinated by it. As someone who um, has invested in property here in the United States, you know, I always uh, am interested and, and want to bring more attention to investing abroad. And a lot of times I think some of the better investments are in, in, in places like the Caribbean, the places that aren't so far away, places that are easier for you to get on a plane with your friends or your family and really go and not only have it as an investment, but also have it as, um, you know, just as an opportunity for uh, you to enjoy as well, mm -hmm. whether it's a summer home mm -hmm. or a vacation home or a retirement home. I think those are really uh, important aspects to uh, in investing. Um, so it sounds to me like one of the things that you said would be the first step, reaching out to the Royal Group mm -hmm. while you're here in the, uh, the States and having uh, the group kind of advise you. Is that safe to say, Alyssa? Yes. That's the point of having a group. You're going to have a benefit of having two real estate agents being able to help you. Not just one person will have to be able to come with two different people and to be able to have the trust in that if you go to Turks and Caicos, there's property management that will be able to help you in the future with your property. It's not that you're just going to be let go. We're going to work day and night to make sure the transactions go smoothly. Okay, okay. And then you get on your flight, you head off to Turks and Caicos, and you connect with the ladies, Takesha and Gasoline. So tell us, what can they expect in connecting with you? Um, quality service, the best. And make, making sure that um, you have a good time here in the Turks and Caicos. We got, while we helping you search for your dream home or whatever it is that you're looking for, we will make sure that we have a good time in between. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you just know, quality service. Yeah. Takesha, yeah. did you have something to add to that? And island hopping. 
Yes. Yeah. You want to see I the fun. most. <laughs> Definitely. And go on some boat trips, like island hopping on the boat as well, eating some conch, eating some oh seafood. My gosh. Oh, Petting the stingrays. Like it's, it's like really taking in skin. oh wow yeah that sounds so beautiful <laughs> especially <Jack> now skin. <laughs> jumping off donkey of ride. ride it's summer all year round for us <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> that's true well you know like i said this this topic is is so exciting to me Thank and you so I'm, much you have shed so much light on not only Turks and Caicos because, you know, it's definitely a place that is on the list of places that many of our travelers, if they haven't gone to, I can say for a fact that many have talked about it as a destination of interest. And also you've shed a lot of light on uh, the, the process to purchase property uh, internationally beyond the United States. I, I like I'm just blown away by that um, that tax incentive that you well, we'll I did in Turks and Caicos. Yes, <laughs> we, gotta a, we gotta get a group coming. I'm telling you, and mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, if you think that we should have a small group, I don't even think we need to have a very big group. As you can, as if you listen to the beginning, the ladies talked about you can go to Turks and Caicos right now. Like technically, you can go, and so um, right. definitely. Yeah, definitely uh, send us an email if, if you'd like, if you think it should be one of those uh, uh, places that we should look to visit, whether it's in 2021 or even 2022. Uh, I know we're still uh, trying to get people excited and energized about taking the first steps out there uh, and going beyond the pandemic, but I'm very, very hopeful. This is an amazing opportunity. So thank you all.